of the thing that uh, Donald Trump talked about as a candidate, right? He was going to go out and he was going to end NAFTA, trash it, yeah. strike it. <laughs> now it seems that he's going to maybe try to mend it, not end it. Or yeah. uh, Now, I mean, this is a big issue, obviously, in your district, yeah. you know, um, uh, with these with these trade agreements. So how do you see this whole NAFTA renegotiation? Well, when it, when I look at the letter that his people sent to Congress, it was it was very much soft step in his rhetoric on the campaign trail. Worst deal ever. I'm going to rip it up. You know, <laughs> then you get a letter from uh, Secretary of Treasury or whatever, and it's like, well, we got to. You know, there's a few things we need to change here. Now, you you run into the problem that these supply chains have been integrated over the last 25 years. That that really complicates things between you know, mm, our countries. Mm. But they are there are still. The way it was written, there are still benefits. Supply chains mean parts coming in from Mexico. Yeah, I mean, so we had in Warren, Ohio, which is just mm-hmm. north of Youngstown, auto uh, manufacturer. We had a, a General Motors factory, and then we had the supplier. It was Delphi. It started out as Packard Electric, the Packard Brothers, the Packard Car. Yeah. yeah. So that was a spinoff of their business. Literally moved the factories over the border to Mexico and shipping the product back. I mean, my, my cousin worked there. His last act was to unbolt the machine from the floor, put it in a box, and I think uh, he shipped it to either Mexico or China. Last hmm, act. Yeah, like these guys well, would go down to Mexico and train workers that were yeah. going to take their jobs. So, so that's uh, yeah. that's where people, I think, feel the NAFTA thing, but that supply chain has gotten integrated, but there's still cheating going on. I mean, our wages are down. Mexican workers' wages are down. So something needs to needs to be done, uh, and I'm not confident that they're going to do it, but we're going to try to hold his feet to the fire. If I could say one thing, Trade is a part of this. Automation is the next big thing that we got to start talking about as a party. I think the party that can figure out how to really deal with the issue of automation, because a lot of these jobs, it's not trade related necessarily, it's automation. And these guys tell me that. They said, this machine took my job. I mean, it was like I used to do X, Y, and Z, and now it's done by a robot. Um, and so the party that figures that out, how we're going to get people back to work, get the wages up, secure pensions, benefits, and all that kind of bread and butter stuff is the party that's going to be successful. 